Apostle John H. Smith said he was not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, because he knew it to be the power of God unto salvation. He felt truly thankful for the pleasure of being here at this conference, to listen to such words as were calculated to bring us up in our most holy faith. The present surrounding circumstances of the saints remind us of the great contrast with their condition nearly fifty years ago, when persecution was so severe. The early experience of the saints was of the most trying character. We are now permitted to worship and dwell in peace. Our opportunities for education in the past were of a very limited character. It was so with him personally. He had never had the advantages in his early life that are surrounding our youth at the present time. He believed that God, our Heavenly Father, intended to make his people the best educated of any of his creatures. It was necessary that we improve and advance step by step in human progress, that we may be better prepared to carry on the great work of God that he laid upon our shoulders. The door for our advancement in letters is now open, and there is no excuse for any one to grow up in ignorance. Very much, of course, depends upon the mother's influence. For when a mother is determined to have her sons and daughters grow up in the knowledge of letters and a knowledge of the truth, they will certainly do so, and grow up to be honored among mankind. He never heard an elder in this church advocate any principle of wrongdoing, but from his youth up he had listened to their teaching, and knew that all their counsels and instructions were of a character that would elevate and ennoble and advance mankind in the scale of being. God has designed that his people should be among the best and noblest of his creatures. Let us therefore be zealous in self-culture and good works, and establish for ourselves a reputation that will enable us to stand erect before our fellows without fear. It is our mission to publish the gospel from land to land, and also to be useful at home, for we are called to be saviors of men and use an influence that will lead the youth away from sin and evil, and elevate them to be fit companions for the highest intelligences. He strongly recommended parents to inspire their children with love and confidence, so that in all their sayings and doings they will feel that there is no one to whom they can appeal so quickly and safely for counsel, and to whom they can confide their secret desires and thoughts, and confess their follies and sins than their own parents. He concluded by praying that God may guide us into the truth, and make us what he designs us to be as his sons and daughters, and the saviors of our race.